Oh, okay. So this looks damaged. Can you hear that? This one's sealed. Okay, this one I trust. Hey girly, I'm so excited for today's video because I bought 25 pieces of Amazon return makeup. I always see my favorite YouTubers do these kind of videos. Finally, I got to do it budget friendly. I can't believe I got it for under $40. I looked up Amazon return palettes and I found this Amazon liquidation page and right away I found something I was interested in. They have multiple makeup to choose from and I'm a little due for some new makeup. I also saw they have other random items and some are actually tempting but I'm gonna say that for another video if this video does well. So after I purchased it I was reading the reviews and they were mixed. So that got me a little worried. So fingers crossed we don't end up with something opened or even worse, smashed. But I'm doing this for you guys and I thought this video would be fun. It's gonna be a surprise for both of us. It says it contains a mix of Maybelline and L'Oreal Cosmetics. You will receive a mix of eyeshadows, lipstick, liners, mascara, nail polish, and more. Oh, we can get nail polish. <laughs> That's not makeup. I don't need any more nail polish, but we'll see. May receive duplicates. Well, the good thing about duplicates, that means it's overstock most likely. You know, that's a good thing. But if I do get duplicates, I'll probably will give it to my mom or my best friend. What also concerns me, it doesn't say it's gonna be expired or not, but in the picture it shows it's brand new. But again, thinking about those reviews, mm, it might not be so pretty. So here's the box that came in. It's a cute packaging. Um, it actually came in a, like four days early, but I didn't open it all the way because then I realized what it was. And I wanted to say that to be a surprise. So let's do it together. I put this down over here in case anything is dirty. <laughs> Whoa. First of all, they use the priority box. If you know about priority boxes, you're not supposed to use them in another package. They were too lazy to buy their own box, I guess. Let's open it now. Oh my God, Whew, I'm more, I'm scared. Is it gonna be broken? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is, I think, wrapped nicely like seriously wow. that does not look broken those reviews are like outdated or something i gotta look at the date first impressions i don't think they're gonna be broken so far so good Whew. i don't have to worry about a bunch of messy things hopefully okay let's do one item at a time to be surprised okay ready i'm gonna i'm not looking are you looking okay Uh-oh, it says perfume on it. Fragrance. I can't wear fragrance. I mean, I can give it to someone that can, but like, what? It didn't actually, it did say there could be other things than what they listed. So that's very cool. Like, I was not even expecting to get fragrance. Like, okay, let's open it to see if it's broken. It's a, I mean, doesn't it have a seal on it? Uh, does it look like it's been used? Um, hopefully we can trust that that's the perfume in it. <laughs> what if someone puts something else in it? I mean, we can smell it. Oh, that's perfume. Okay, success so far. Can we get a um, real makeup product, please? That's what I wanted. We got all day full coverage concealer. <gasps> Okay, concealer, okay. It's wet and wild. I use concealer off and on. I mean, I, I don't use it too much, so I still have like two bottles I'm going through. It is brand new, it looks like it's wrapped. Oh, it's rolling away. All right, so I already put my hand in it and it feels like nail polish, okay. Oh, look, it has a 40% off deal. I wonder if it's something that didn't sell or it, someone bought it and then ended up not using it, hopefully. Okay, so there was no seal on it, but um, I don't think nail polish just always have seals on it, so it doesn't mean it's used, but it looks like it has a good amount and it's from CVS. Okay, what color is this? Purple? 
I like this color actually, it's not too bright, it's very subtle, so I actually see myself keeping this for myself. It's cute. I had to put it in a box right now because he keeps playing with it. Reese. <laughs> okay guys, my plan of putting it aside is not working, but at least it's not a mess. So I guess I'll put it in this box right over here. We can organize it later. Wait, what is this? Good girl gone bad. What? Oh, wait, wait, there's something on the side I just saw. You see that? What is that? Let me open it. More perfume. Great. That's another gift I can give to someone. All right, he's just watching the show. Okay. Oh, I just dropped them all. Okay, so they were wrapped into this pink thing. So I'm just gonna grab under it. Okay. Oh, okay. So this looks damaged, the, at least the container. So this definitely looks like a return. Is it open? Okay, it looks kind of hard. I'm not a pro at makeup, so I makeup stuff, so I don't know how it's supposed to feel. Honestly, I don't know how we should know if something is expired unless it's been opened. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh my God. There's no seal on it. Wouldn't it be a seal on it? So this one is a long wear lip color remover. It's for lips, so I wouldn't trust something that's been open on your lips. It's a lip color remover. Okay, so you don't even have to put it directly on your lips. You can put it on your finger and remove. I don't know if I could trust it though. The next one. I think it's pronounced Clonique. Uh, I'm not good at pronouncing weird names. It's a seven day scrub cream. Okay, so this ain't makeup. Oh, it says a cream exfoliate. So that's what that is. But is it brand new? There's no seal on this. A little concerning. Yeah, could be a return. Well, I wanna look, okay. Nightly Renewing Serum. Okay, so we got, so far, a lot of different things. Nothing repetitive, which is good, because some of the reviews were saying that they got like so much of the same item. So, I mean, we're not even halfway yet. I can't say that, but we'll see. What is this? Mascara, Bobbi Brown. Okay, it's not sealed. You want your mascara sealed, so I don't even know if it's dried up or not. I don't know if I want to use that. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, so this next one is some CBD sensitive skin therapy, which I have sensitive skin. It's eye cream. So let's, oh, <gasps> yes. This one's sealed. Okay, this one I trust. This one definitely gonna use. And it's brand new, excited for this one. It said it was sensitive skin, so I noticed like sometimes when I put things around my eye, it does irritate it. But this one it says sensitive skin, so we'll see. Okay, Reese is in the window. We can put this over here. Okay, so we grab this one out. Okay, this is dark. Is this a foundation? Okay, I probably won't be able to use that. Full coverage sunscreen. And oh, it expired in 2021. So the first one I saw that has an expiration date, probably is just talking about the sunscreen. So the makeup probably still works as long as it hasn't been opened. And I just got the makeup on my lips. <laughs> oh, no. That was dried up. That's kind of dark. It says it's almond, so I can't even use this. Okay, there's one more that was wrapped in this one and it was nail polish. I wouldn't, is this red or orange? It looks like a very light red, but it looks kind of orange, certain lightings. Uh, what do you think of color this is? It's a light color, I like it, it's not too dark. Oh, here's what it's called. We seafood and eat it. Oh, so it's like an orange then, seafood orange, okay. That's a weird name for it though. Before we move on to the next makeup products, I do got some new shiny jewelry to show you. I'm wearing right now, actually, from Read Your Heart Jewelry. So the first one I got is this ring I'm wearing. It's this oval moissanite floral ruby halo engagement ring it says. Honestly, I'm like, if someone gave me this and proposed, I would say yes because of how pretty it was. <laughs> This made me feel like I want like this kind of stone one day, but I'm wearing it as a fashion piece. So the other thing I got are these hoops, 
with the moissanite stone, just like diamonds. I really love them, they're not too big so they don't get in the way. And they go with the rest of my jewelry, all silver. I'm really happy with the quality and it came with such nice packaging. So this would be pretty to propose with. If you like anything on there, you should share it with your boyfriend so you can give him a little hint, if you know what I mean. They have other things than rings. You can also get a necklace or earrings. Just give them a little hint so you get a little gift. The Moisturite rocks don't get scratched easily and it's as tough as diamonds, but it doesn't cost as much. So if you want something really sparkly and pretty, you should check them out. And also use code JESS15 for 15% off anything at Read Your Heart Jewelry. Now that you know where my new jewelry is from, let's get back to the next return makeup item. Okay, all right, so there's two more wrapped. That's a lot more, right? Well, it could be big, because the other one felt kind of something in there big. So let's unravel this one. Okay. Another thing that looks kind of dark, but it says it's a liquid highlighter. How's a highlighter dark? That's why it looks kind of dark. It's a gold color, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, so I don't know if I can be able to use it, but it's brand new. So I've never used a gold highlighter. I don't know. I feel like I always go for like the lighter ones, like the silvery color. So I don't know if gold would be my vibe. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Is this an eyeliner for 40% off? This must be CVS as well. Okay, so it looks kind of open, like it just can slide out. It's a brow lift stick. Okay, um, I never used one of these actually. Looks clean, like it hasn't been used on the that stick thing, but I don't know about the gel. Is it just clear gel? Cause it says, that's what it says clear. Oh, okay. So it's one of the, <laughs> I basically use something like that, but it already has like the gel on the stick. So this you put the, wait, oh, never mind. I thought it was one of those one that has gel on it, like clear gel on it, the stick. But this one, you actually put this on your eyebrow. Like a, this is a stick, literally a stick, not a wand. That's why I was trying to say that if it was used, it doesn't look like it. Cause you can tell if, uh, if it's been pressed down. So I feel like it hasn't been used. So I feel like I can use this hopefully because um, it did say it was clearance, just like the nail polish. So I wonder if it's a thing where they just got rid of it because it didn't sell. That could be a thing. Okay, so one more thing in that pink one, something that looks like it could break, but it's not. It's a finishing powder and it's sealed, but it looks kind of too dark for me. So I don't think I'm gonna be using this. A deep golden color. So another thing I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with, I mean, it is brand new, but it keeps like moving. I feel like it looked like it broke. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Yeah, so I'm probably, I don't even know if I could, if I would want to give it to someone. Okay, so moving on to the last bundle or whatever this wrap, pink wrap paper. Let's grab one by one. Okay, what the heck? Organic wear, dewy blush, I don't know how to say that word. Elixir is just um, dewy blush. Blush with super fruits. And it's like a picture of fruits on it. It looks kind of good, but obviously it's, it's blush. Okay, is it new though? I never seen something not, like when did that have a top to it? It doesn't have a top to it. How do I know if it's been open? Is it gonna go bad soon? We don't know. I don't know if I should use it. Okay. Oh, we got a duplicate. Definitely means it's overstocked and that's why it's brand, it's literally hasn't even been opened. I mean, I'm assuming it's the same, yeah. So we got two of that eye cream. Hopefully I it works, I like it. <laughs> okay, and then waterproof eyeliner. Okay, is it purple or or is that just a purple top? It's from Walgreens from NYX. Oh, it says lilac on it. I've never had like a colored eyeliner before. 
like liquid. Obviously I have like the eyeliners. It says you can put it on the body too. And it shows like someone writing like a words on their chest. I don't think I'll be doing that. Maybe a heart? I don't, is it new? How do we know? It's not sealed and the box is open. So I'm assuming that it's been opened. It has some still in it. Why would they try to give me something that's been open? There's just interesting sticker it has on there. It says this item is intended for sale at Walgreens. If found at other outlets, call this number. If that counts of being sold like through this way, should we call this number? Uh oh, it was not supposed to go over here. Next. Ah, another. Okay. Wait, that's good news then. That means this might be overstocked. That means it probably hasn't been used because I wasn't sure because it had no seal on it. That's good. I can give someone one of these. Another one? Another sunscreen I can't use because it's for dark skin. That won't look right. I'm kind of like the opposite. Super blendable concealer. So another concealer, but it's neutral. I like the other one because I like the lighter ones. I don't need, this one's a little too dark. It has the tape on it, but it let me open it. So I don't know. Maybe I just opened it, hopefully. Uh, next one. Then we got a jumbo eye pencil. Okay, so this one's definitely brand new. Um, I never had this color. So, um, let's see if I'll use it. I don't really like it to be honest because it's more of a warm color it looks like. More like the yellowish gold color. I don't know if that will look good on me or not. It could, maybe if I do like a brown eyeshadow look. That one was good. Wait, what is this? Something with vitamin C in it and I like using that kind of stuff on my skin. See, it's a brightener booster. Okay, I used to have one of these, but I ran out. <gasps> and it's brand new. Oh my God, this might be like the best one of the whole thing. Like, I, <laughs> something I actually will use a lot. I definitely see myself using that. Oh, our first eyeshadow. And it's a little cracked. I mean, I'm not surprised because the how long it had to travel. A bunch of like neutral colors. I like to use, but I have some orange color and a yellow. Personally, I don't like yellow eyeshadow on me, so I won't use that part. Okay, the next thing is a lip color. Why is it looking like that? It's like lips. It, is it does it expect me to put that on my lips like that? Like, how is that gonna fit someone's lips? I'm confused. That would look funny. I've never used one of these before. Clearly, you can tell I have no idea what I'm looking at. Cause I've seen things like, like stains your lips. I'm guessing that's one of those things. I'll definitely want to try that out. Wait, oh, and that was the last one. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna organize it into the section to see what we got. See if we actually got 25 pieces. So here's all the stuff and there was 25 items. So it didn't lie. Some reviews did say they didn't get 25. We got one eyeshadow palette, two perfumes, Two mascaras, we got eye pencil, waterproof eyeliner, and this brow lipstick, nail polish, two lip stuff, we got blush, highlighter, scrub cream, and vitamin C, and two eye creams, and the serum, two concealers, two this foundation sunscreen thing, finishing powder. So there was actually only two that was expired, these two because of part of the sunscreen. Um, the other ones might be years old, as long as you haven't opened it yet. And once you open it, usually it'd be like a year at last. I spent $38 in total for this. So if we do the math, that's about like $1.52 each item for 25 items, which isn't that bad. Okay, update, I did try some of the makeup, the purple eyeliner. It's really not that noticeable until you go up closely. I guess it's just a light purple shade. I really do like it though. I also tried the mascara. That mascara isn't really for lengthening. It's more for like, I guess, volume. I wouldn't say it's anything special. I also tried the blush. Now the blush, it wouldn't come out of the bottle. No matter how many times I pressed down on it, it wouldn't. So I had to check out to see what was going on with it. And it literally was like crooked. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. I'm like, well, that's why it was probably returned. It wouldn't come out of the bottle. To dab it on there that way, 
and so I patted it on. Can't really tell. I didn't want to put too much on because I didn't realize it was that dark. I wanted more something more lighter to go with the pink and purple. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not for this look. Anyways, I did show my mom this and she was like a little iffy at first, but after she did some research, this box isn't that bad. I got a little lucky. She did say some things you could have gotten at the dollar store or TJ Maxx, but again, it was a fun surprise. And I got some new makeup. I gave some to my mom, but I don't think I'll get this box again. At least not this mystery box. You don't know what you're gonna get out of it. Some things are, weren't my skin tone, so that sucks. If it's still available, I'll have the link down below, but purchase at your own risk. If you did like this video, probably like this video for me as well. Remember to press the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.